Wanna say hi? Say hello. I think the loud noise and all the lights is sensory issues for her right now, but just left the little gaming center that we were at I still don't even remember the name I'll enter the name I'm so bad with names we just left and I I'm still sick I got sick a few days ago and then I started getting better and then now I feel like I am getting worse I keep on blowing my nose and my voice is going so the kids had fun Ryan's finishing up his food we got them some food they had um like appetizers and dinner and stuff in there so we got the kids some food and then we ordered ourselves an appetizer thinking that we can just get dinner on the way home but the appetizer actually filled us up so right now um we are in front of Lowe's we need to get some more potting soil because we did a garden in front of our house but we also did one in our backyard we are trying to grow some veggies and fruit back there we'll see if they survive hopefully they do um we got a few things we got tomatoes watermelon cantaloupe green beans red peppers green peppers um they do survive um green peppers red peppers and what else i don't know i think we got like one or two other things we want to get strawberry but we were told that strawberries probably won't survive just because i think strawberries are about to go out of season something like that and so then we want to also do asparagus but then we also heard that asparagus is very hard to keep alive so since our first time doing this we decided to skip out on the asparagus but we want to go back and see if we can find some like romaine lettuce and then i want to get like cilantro and stuff so that's what robert's in lowe's right now to see if he can find all of that and then we're going to head home and that was our memorial day weekend madison is in the back she did good it's okay she did okay in there she had her moments of being cranky but overall she did pretty good um but guys i cheated on my my diet as most of you guys know i'm on the keto diet and i was doing so well and then i just cheated today big time it's that time of the month and i'm craving everything and yeah i'm scared to even get on the scale because i cheated pretty bad today so we'll see how that affects my diet i'm pretty sure it'll affect how my weight is by a lot just because I haven't had carbs or sugar for three weeks now and now is the first time that I started eating more carbs and more sugar since I cheated so I'm pretty sure I went up in weight a lot but I know it's all probably going to be water weight just like you're not going to lose a fat in a day you're also not going to gain a bunch of fat in a day so the scale goes up I know it'll be mostly water weight and then I'll just have to get back into my diet tomorrow and focus because i've been doing really good but that's life you know sometimes you gotta treat yourself sometimes you gotta cheat and like i mentioned before i'm not 100 percent keto i'm about 85 percent keto 15 non-keto so i just went over a little more than 15 percent 
But anyways, guys, I am going to head home and I probably won't vlog for the rest of the day. Maybe I'll vlog a little bit tomorrow or sometime during the week and I'll insert that vlog with this one so it won't be too short. But like I said, hopefully everyone had an amazing, great and safe Memorial Day because I know we did, although it was gloomy, we still had fun. So we will see you guys in our next vlog. Okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll win another one, okay? Yay. Hey guys, and good afternoon. It is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I just finished filming a video. I filmed a summer bucket list for me and my family, and I had planned on doing a few errands, but it looks like it's about to thunderstorm, which sucks. It's been raining so much here in Georgia. I mean, a ton. Now, let me show you guys how it looks outside. It's very overcast and gloomy. I wanted to run out to Target and then maybe grab some lunch or something um yeah it's already started raining right now it's like drizzling so this is how it looks outside you guys it's so gloomy well it actually looks pretty sunny in the it looks pretty sunny in my vlog but now it's it looks like a shower is, is starting which sucks because i want to do a few things but that's not going to happen but I think I'm just going to make some lunch for the kids at home. I want to vlog a little bit today because I did vlog for Memorial Day weekend and didn't get really many clips. I want to vlog another day so I can combine it. But yeah, also guys, let me show you my garden. I don't know if I showed you guys my garden um, in any vlogs, but if you do follow me on Instagram, then you would have already seen my little garden. I wish I would have taken a before picture. It was like a forest. It was horrible. It took us a really, really long time to get it cleaned up but so worth it. We still have a lot more to do, but show you our little garden right oh, our now. Our little garden looks like there are four trees in the back. They're supposed to have flowers blooming, but that probably won't happen for a while. And then the two middle ones, those are probably my favorite ones. I'm not sure what they're called, but when we first bought them, there was literally only like one or two blooming, and now there's a ton. And then the one all the way in the front. And then these little lights I bought from Dollar Tree, they work awesome. So that's how it looks. We also it. are starting a vegetable garden in our backyard. Um, it's starting to rain, so I don't think I'm going to be able to walk back there because I think it's muddy from when it rained last night. But we started a vegetable garden as well in our backyard. We're doing two different tomatoes. Oh, great. Now it's really raining. I think we would go out there. But we did two different tomatoes. We did watermelon, cantaloupe, um, red peppers, green peppers, watermelon, and then we want to do strawberries, but I don't think that's going to happen because I think they said it's starting to go out of season. And we did green beans, I think, as well. But we still want to do a few other things. But no, I'll show you from afar how the vegetable garden back there. Those two pots right there are the tomatoes. And then inside there is where everything else is. I would go out there, but it's raining and I don't want to get wet. Maybe I'll show you guys later on if it's not raining how it looks. But yeah, and this is our backyard, guys. I don't know if I've ever showed you. We still have to gate it. We have not gated it yet. It's going to be a few thousand, but that's all of our land that goes all the way down there as well. I'm not far sure how far we can go with the gate, but yeah, that is our backyard. Hey, guys. So it is now around 3 o'clock, 3.20 to be exact, and I made the mistake of leaving the house. So... It was raining earlier when I wanted to go to Target and run a few errands, so then I decided to stay home and I did get a lot of things done around the house that I wanted to get done. I did some laundry, I unloaded the dishwasher, I cleaned up my closet, not all the way through, but I did clean up a lot of my closet that was a mess and I just did a few things around the house I need to do. Well, it was super sunny and I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess it's not going to rain because it was really beautiful out and sunny for a really long time. I checked the weather and it said it was only a 15% chance of rain, so I decided to leave the house. Within the drive to Target, all of a sudden, it jumped from 15% chance of rain to 50% chance of rain. And then, of course, right when I pull up into Target, it starts pouring rain outside. So now, that's how it looks outside. It doesn't look as bad, but it really is coming down. So now I'm stuck in this car and I don't want to get out. Look at this, it's getting worse by the minute. So I don't know, I'm gonna sit in the car for a few minutes and see if the rain will stop. If it doesn't stop, I'm just going to go back home because having to unload both the kids and I get them inside of Target and there's like no parking in front of Target. I had to park all the way in the back. So 
fingers crossed I don't stay trapped in here because I really want to get some things from here. I want to reorganize downstairs. I have like a little storage closet that's underneath the stairs and that's a disaster as well. And I needed a few more storage drawers. So that's what I came here to get. And then I also needed some like floor cleaner and stuff because I want to clean the house tomorrow. But I don't know if it's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna stay here for like five more minutes. And if the rain doesn't stop, then I'm just going to head back home. So either I will see you guys when we are in Target or I will see you guys back home. So we have made it into Target. We stood in the car for about like five-ish minutes and then it finally stopped raining. I need to get some sunblock for the kids and I'm just gonna go with this baby Ganix one. I want to get the sun bum one because I've heard really good things about it but I can't find the one for kids so I'm just gonna get this one. This one's ten dollars for this bottle so I don't know if that's a good deal or not but I'm just gonna get this one. They have an Aveeno one I was going to get but that one's eleven dollars and it comes with less. It's really small. So I figured I would just get the Baby Genix one because it comes with more in it. Maddie, really. And then I just have some everyday necessities in the cart. I have some Listerine, some toothpaste, some floor cleaner. Oh, and I found this really cute for Madison. These hair clips, they're for 4th of July. So I figured on 4th of July I can put these on her hair. They were in the dollar section. They're only a dollar. So we're going to grab that. And then... I'm just gonna look around a little more. I'm gonna look into the clothes section and then we should probably head home because it's already like 4.30. I know it's past four, so that's what we're about to do now. We are now back home and this Georgia weather, I'm telling you, it's bipolar. It was a pouring rain when I was at Target. I was stuck in the car for like a little over five minutes and now look how beautiful it is outside. It is gorgeous outside now. Oh yeah? Checking the mail, Madison fell asleep in the car. So that's gonna be fun getting her out. I'm gonna check the mail. And we got junk mail. Nothing important. I don't wanna let you um, I'm about to go inside and take the kids a bath and then just relax. I'm so tired, I can honestly go to sleep right now. But too bad it's only like 5.30, so I can't go to sleep yet. Ryan, come on. No, put that down. Because then the mailman's gonna think we have mail in there. I got so used to living in a colder sack in my old house that now that we don't live in a colder sack anymore, it really sucks because all the cars that come by here go really fast. And then anytime I check my mail, I have to literally go on the street. Ryan, come on, up on the sidewalk. Close it. Look, I got the mail already. Ryan loves to check the mail. I know, I just wanted to put it in the mailbox. Let's get, I'm going to get Madison out of the car. She's actually sleeping right now, so. This is going to be fun getting her out. Let's see if she wakes up. Hey there. Madison. I wish I can sleep. I'm tired. I'm not tired too. I can sleep like that right now. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get her and Ryan inside the house. I'm going to give them a quick bath. Oh, the front door isn't open, is it? Um, I'm going to give them a quick bath and... Then I don't know if I'm gonna vlog anymore today. I know today's vlog is pretty boring. All I did was go to Target and that's about it. Ryan, up on the sidewalk, please. If a car comes, it can hit you. Maybe I'll have Ryan do that cool coloring book that I told you guys about from Dollar Tree from my haul. I showed you guys that coloring book that you're supposed to download the app. We still have not done that yet. So maybe after their bath and dinner, I will have him do that and see how it works, see if it works. And I'll show you guys how it works out. So. I'm gonna get the kids inside the house, so I'll see you guys in a few. Okay guys, I'm about to take the kids a bath, but before I take them a bath, I want to show you a bathing suit that I bought from Target. I really love it, but I don't know how I feel how it looks on me. I tried it on while I was in Target, and it's like I like it, but then I don't like it. I really want to get a one-piece just because I don't feel 100% comfortable right now in a two-piece, and all I own are two pieces. So. I've been looking for a one piece and I can't find anything. Either it shows too much cleavage, it shows too much butt, or I just feel uncomfortable in it. This is one that I found at Target. It was it was $30. I love the color, it's like a maroon color. So I feel like this one doesn't show too much cleavage where I'm uncomfortable, but it is a little sexy. It goes down, as you guys can see in the front like that. And then I loved the middle. It's kind of like a, I don't know, not knitted, but like 
crocheted kind of style but I just loved how the middle was so it shows off your stomach a little bit but not too much and then the back part is open right here on your back but then I liked that the butt was pretty much covered I don't like the cheeky ones because I feel like I'm like half naked so I like that it covers the butt and then I like that it is low cut so it is sexy but it's not like too low cut so I don't know I was gonna try it on for you guys but then again I feel kind of uncomfortable or awkward modeling a bathing suit but I don't know I think I'm gonna try it on show my husband or show one of my friends and ask them how they like it and see what they say and maybe I'll keep it I'm not sure but I need to take the kids to the pool soon and I don't want to wear it my two pieces not yet I'm still I don't know last year I was completely fine in a two-piece this year I'm just not feeling comfortable so yeah I just need to eat one piece I'm going to keep on looking for other one pieces I haven't gone to TJ Maxx or Marshall's looking for a one piece so maybe they all have a one piece that I will like a little more but for now this one will have to do like I said it was $30 so it's pretty good price um it sucks so I think like last week they had the bathing suits on sale for like 20% off and I probably should have bought it then but I didn't have time to try it on but anyways guys Madison's crying so let me go take them a bath and then we will see you guys when Ryan starts coloring in his color. Okay guys so now that it is sunny and beautiful outside after that rainstorm I'm going to go outside and show you guys the garden a little up close so you can see how it looks hold let me turn this the camera this is the first tomato tree and this is the second tomato tree and then this is where we have everything else my husband decided to build this we were going to do it out of wood but he has extra metal from work so he decided to just build it and this is everything everything that we have so some red peppers and then green peppers right there we have some cucumber that one's the cucumber this one is the watermelon which my husband is thinking that he should probably take it out and plant it somewhere else because probably not enough room in there for the watermelon and then we have some cantaloupe right there and i think that's just our flower an extra flower that we have I'm not sure where he's going to plant the green beans we don't have the green beans out yet but that is how our garden looks. I still want to get some rocks. So, so yeah, I can that finish. is how our little garden looks like. Um, I want to actually buy some pretty rocks and then write the name of everything in our garden and put the rocks in there instead of having those little tags just because I think the rocks are prettier. So yeah, that's how our garden looks like. Um, the front yard I showed you guys already earlier, but. Yeah, do you want a color, Ryan? In that coloring book that we got from Dollar Tree? No, 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 not call anyone. Do you want a color in the coloring book that we got from Dollar Tree? And can I download the app? Yeah, I can download the app too. I don't want to download it. You don't want to download the app? You just want a color? All right, I'm gonna get the coloring book out for you. Right, so these are the coloring books that you can choose. I, if you guys watched my Dollar Tree haul, then you would have already seen them, but I bought them three. I bought them this Skylander one. Oh, it actually already comes with crayons. I didn't have to take out crayons. And then I got him the Avengers one. And then, and then, you, got him this, and then you got me this yeah. dragon And then I got him this mythical creature dragon one. So those are three I got him. I also got Madison a... And even a wizard in it. Yeah, and then I also got Madison I one. I think it was... I'm not sure which one I got her. I got her one. I'm not sure, but which one do you want to color? I just want to look inside. His hair is so wet and you dry it. So it comes out of your tablet and just stays in there? Yeah, it's just fun. You can do like selfies with is it, it. Is that, so is that, is it game? Yeah, so do you want to color it and then try it with the app and see how it works? Yeah. Okay, so which one do you want to color? Well, so first, but first, let's look at okay. them. First, we're going to look, look at, at them. them. Okay, look at the dragon guy. And put a little bit more closer. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and stay like that so it can stay steam. Well, they don't want to see all the pictures. They want you to color it so then they can see how it works. So which coloring book are you going to do? Are you going to do Avengers, Skylander, or the dragon one? Um, I'm trying to pick out. You're going to pick one out? All right, once um, he finishes this, coloring, I'm, you're going to do that would, one? Yeah, I like the, those dragons. Okay, I think there's crayons in the there's crayons in the back and get the crayons out. All right, so once he is done coloring, then I'm going to download the app. 
I'm gonna try to download the app on his tablet because I do record from my phone. My is died. Oh, it died. Okay, well I'm gonna have to charge it. I'm gonna have to download the app from his tablet because I record from my phone. So if I download the app from my phone, then there's no way I can record and use the app. So I need to go find his tablet and charge it, and then we can. I'm in the playroom. It's in the playroom. I'm gonna charge his little tablet, see if I can download the app from the tablet so then I can record from my phone. If not, then maybe another day I can just record it from my friend's phone or something. But what's the matter, Maddie? All right, so I'm gonna go charge his tablet and let Okay guys, so don't mind me, I look a hot mess. It is basically nine o'clock, 8.52 to be exact, and I'm just going to end the vlog here. Um, for the Color Alive coloring book that I want to show you guys, I'm going to just insert a picture just because I cannot find Ryan's um, iPad anywhere. So I had to do the app from my phone, which means I couldn't record and use the app at the same time, but I was able to snap a picture from the app. So I will insert that photo. You guys, if any of you guys have kids, I highly recommend going to your Dollar Tree and looking for these Color Alive coloring books. They're only a dollar, which is an awesome deal, and it's so cool. It really comes alive, and it makes like sound effect noises. So cool. Ryan loved it. I'm so glad that I picked up four of them. I'll probably go back and pick up the other ones. They had, I think, like three other ones that I saw that I did not grab. I only grabbed four, but I will be going back for the rest because Ryan loved them and they're really cool. So anyways, guys, I am going to take a shower and get ready for bed myself. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I am going to combine it with Memorial Day when I went to this little arcade with some friends. So that will be included in this vlog. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please remember to give us a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys in our next vlog. Bye.